Well, we're still in this room. I have some mixed feelings here. I've become captain, which is good news. Also, I have this jaunty hat. And frankly, while it's not slimming, I think that outfit is very becoming for Glottis. On the other hand, uh -huh. so far all we seem to have is a couple of irritating I buttons and some nonsense controls. I think the use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on method. So, like, this is, this is almost certainly something added for the remaster, this, like four directional arrows thing this doesn't look uh -huh. like it fits with the the previous aesthetic or interface that's um, a good point that being said, i didn't think about we, that that being said we have raised both anchors and yet any attempt to move the ship somehow results in the camera doing something confusing and then us still being in this room yeah so i'm not like the thing is like i don't mind a puzzle where like i don't know what to do to start with and i start messing with the controls and have to figure it out but like legitimately what are you getting from this so so let, let's let's be clear about this that's that's left this is right this all is right forward. i'm getting from this that the ship is unable to move and this is <coughs> and like most of those look the same um, yeah so I don't, I don't think the ship is moving is my point so I think right, but I don't. I, I feel don't like understand a lot of should be saying like, "Oh, you can't move the ship, so you gotta do this thing." You should be. So it's really, for some reason, inexplicably difficult to can't reach. disengage from the controls. Can you talk to him from a different angle, like maybe from over there? No, he is completely. Do something. Okay. God damn it! That is the only option I have. And, again, the hitboxes are really weird for that. This is also a thing that's been happening more as the game progresses. It's, like, weird. And I think part of that is because we're playing on a console, and the game was originally designed for, like, mouse and keyboard. Well, I think the mouse was still involved. Actually, no, it wasn't, was it? So then why so are the hitboxes so weird? It was just, like, arrow so keys and shit? Yeah. That was, like, one of the weird things about it, is, is it was, like, basically designed like a point-and-click adventure, but didn't involve the mouse. Uh, that's weird. So, like, does that help? Do I want an anchor? No, I don't think I, I don't want think... both anchors. No, I don't think we want an anchor. But, I mean, the only time we ever got it to move, we had both anchors down. It feels like that means oh. something. Was it moving when the anchors were down? I mean, the camera... Like, this. Like, this sort of thing was happening. Like, see, we've moved. I don't know what the fuck that means. It's not clear at all. What? Right? I don't understand. What the fuck is happening? Are we happening? Like close to the dock now or something? Can't reach. Who made this fucking game? Tim Schafer and some other folks. Can't reach. Um. Yeah, this room is mysterious. This is awful. Can I pick a lot of stuff? Not picking that up. No. How about these controls? Right, I'm picking that up. I'm looking this shit up. Give me a sec. Hey. Let's see. Here's a. Okay, we literally have only the scythe. Wait, does the scythe do something? Can we use Definitely the scythe? Do Can we use the scythe to somehow? I don't mess up my blade. Really? My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used you to be. You literally like you. You're complaining that something is like just out of arm's reach, and you won't use the like hook thing that you have with you at all times to bring it closer to you. Oh no, you will. You just for some reason, I have to have the screen just right and be looking at the right angle on a Tuesday with the stars aligned properly. Got it. Wait, what? How did you, did, what did you... I'm not super... Did that not work also? Why yeah, was the angle moving there. around? Yeah, but like I literally... Dude, that's so confusing. Hold on. So like, why does the anchor adjust itself? This is all one prompt, by the way. I'm not adding more input to this. So I don't understand why... Like, this, it doesn't make sense to me that that wouldn't work. I can see no reason why that wouldn't work. And, and, like, the reason it seems not to work is because it inexplicably, like, repositions itself, which it wouldn't do. Like, I'm very confused by this. Like, that's just not how boats or physics work. Does it work better on this side? I'm gonna assume no. For some reason, I have the impression that left is the side it wants us to do something with the anchor with, but... My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. There we go. 
again, it just sort of shifts itself. We get confused. Nope. Um, what if you- can you hook the, the anchors together? Hook them together? How do they do that? Can't reach. Well, if you had one on- you know, if you had them connected, you, they'd be closer to the window, wouldn't they? I'm not sure I fully understand that, so I'll answer maybe? Pressed right and I got further away from the right, which, again, I would argue is not how boats or physics work. Right. If I press right again, do I go back? Um. No, but left makes me go right. Is that supposed to be intuitive? Okay, um... here's an idea. What if you, what if you stay here, lower, raise that anchor. Yeah, raise the starboard anchor. Then go to the port side, put down the port anchor. The, the hitbox is forever... So, like, it's very difficult to try and explain this. If I get too close to the porthole, it changes the camera. If the camera changes, I can no longer interact with the button, which is on the wall next to the porthole. <laughs> okay, so now move the ship to the left. Like, literally move it to the left or press left? I don't know. Move it to the left. Literally move it to the left? Yes, yes. Okay. That that didn't answer my question. There is a distinction there. Okay, the ship has moved left. So now like... drop the starboard anchor. Are you reading this directly off a walkthrough? Is that what you're doing right now? I don't know what you're talking about. Because I don't believe that you figured this out. Because I don't know what whatever this about. is is nonsense. I did say that I was going to look this up. You did say that, which is also why I'm asking. <laughs> okay, so it now It doesn't seem like it's immediately done anything. Now move the ship to the to the right. No, that didn't did work. That, Go the other did way. Did that do something? So you want me to move to the left? Yes. I don't think this is going to do anything either. Okay, now try raising the port side anchor. Hitboxes! Yeah, they're super fun. Yeah, you did it. Okay, it looks like that did the thing you're talking about, but I don't think you yourself understand. Can't reach. So, I assume now I do this? Are you, are you actually gonna do it or are you stuck? Okay. <laughs> he looks like he's getting hypnotized by the anchors. I really don't understand how you're supposed to like know this is the thing you're trying to do. Frankly, well, I don't so, know how I ever would have done this before. So, oddly, it says in the walkthrough that Glottis is supposed to talk to you, which he does not. See, this was something that happened back in the Petrified Forest, where, like, that puzzle would have made a lot more sense with just a little prompting from him, but, like, he didn't tell us anything, so we got stuck unnecessarily for a while. I'm not yeah. surprised that that sort of happened again. I'm not even sure it was a glitch before. It may, it may have just been, like, a lack of insight on design, but, like... Like... Glottis, do something. Okay. <laughs> It's still the only thing he's he's he'll do. So like I don't I don't know what's up. I don't know if that's if they just like broke that remastering. Can't reach. It. So like, uh, so, so I try try it raising or? try raising the other anchor now. Oh uh, okay sure. Uh, wow. So the hitboxes. You love them. Okay okay. okay. Gladys, cover your ears. He didn't do that. His ears are still wiggling, just like... Is Gladys just broken? Did we break Gladys? I we think we may broke. have broken Gladys. I also yeah. find it hard to believe that that mechanism would have done that. I feel like it would have jammed or stopped somewhere well before reaching the other side of the ship. Yeah. 
can't reach. So try moving the boat now. Uh, try raising the other anchor now then? I don't know. I mean, I've moved the boat. I did it! You see? You see how I did it? Hitboxes! There's, there's, there's gotta be a better way to set this up. I don't care what year this game was made. There's gotta be a better way to set up these hitboxes. If I mess with these anchors anymore, we might go down with the ship. Really? Can't reach. Can we try the scythe again? Does that do something? If I mess with these anchors anymore, hmm. might he literally doesn't want me to do anything with the anchors. But what's the point? It hasn't actually accomplished anything. It won't let me like leave through the holes. I can't move the ship. And I'm still not clear why the ship doesn't move when the anchors are up. I feel like that's indicative of a much larger problem we should be concerned about. So, all right. Um, so here's here. So here's all the information. Hold on, hold on. Let me, Gladys, talk, let me talk to him one more time and see if he. Uh... Gladys, do something. No, nope, okay. he's just gonna scream at me. So there Gladys is. is supposed to tell you that they that the engines are not powerful enough, and and so it says you have to lose some weight, uh, and so it's like oh use the anchors and do a whole bunch of shit to cut the shift in half. I sort of intuited then, that from the dotted line comment, but like and again, be none of that to, was prompted by him. Then you'll be able to back the ship out of port to safety. I mean, I'm not sure we've technically solved the. Oh, I pressed back before. I had to move closer to the port and then move back, which also I don't know why I would assume that's the case. Great. So like, I genuinely think something broke there. And not the yeah, ship, I... like, it didn't seem like that worked properly. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm sorry, but I, we had to do something. We, gotta, we no, had to get I mean, like, I, I would have waited a little bit longer, but seeing what happened there and what the game was giving us, I'm glad you did that because we literally just would have been stuck there. Yeah, I, I I don't like that. That's something I could imagine us getting to if the game was giving us information, but we, we got nothing. I don't, I don't know how we would have done that. What are we I'm, underwater now? Is that what's happening? Jesus. Yeah, we're underwater. The ship sank. It's no longer buoyant. <laughs> Any questions? Joking. Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, Skull joke. You without your hard ones, so you can live <laughs> Skull joke. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Cool. What would the, what would the direction have been for this part of the game? All right, so, John, you are a Mexican skeleton, and now you are underwater, and you must escape. Yep. Seek a way out. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my Can't tell warning, if being dramatic or sincere. Or take one step forward and learn for yourself. All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? It makes me want to save, even though I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have fail states. Uh, in fact, recently seen it demonstrate a lack of willingness to have fail states. Um, that photo thing still gets me. Where if you're like holding the photo, he's like, "No, you can't go there." <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck up the world. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Amigo. Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You yeah. see? That's why I never travel by boat. Okay. Uh, I feel like this is a question I need to ask, even though the camera's not really showing us. You can see the eyebrows <laughs> flapping a bit. Um, but I just want to know. Is everything okay with your This eyebrows? is how I normally Damn, greet you, genius. for those at home. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. And yet he's still mad about the ship, boys. <laughs> His eyebrows are the only company he has. Yep. Eyebrows? <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. 
Why are you walking instead of taking a shit? Exhaust the dialogue? waiting around Ruba Kaba for a boat. Figured it'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? Because you didn't watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Um... We've had a little Zing. accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Fix the boat. Is that, is that supposed to be an actual Pirates of the Caribbean reference? Didn't this first game come out before Pirates 1? Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! What? You don't believe those This game came out in 98. You? you think somewhere in this ocean when was Pirates a 1? gigantic pearl? Way after 98. So I thought so. Passing ships, and then sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Blah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. Uh... No, it's right no there. really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. It's Tell definitely me not you the didn't moon. come all this way. <laughs> That's no moon. The <laughs> moon. Uh, okay. got a light? Can we borrow that light for a second. Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> all right, kill him. <laughs> yeah, we got to eat him. Sure, since you think that's the moon, what is your navigation concept like? How do you know where you're going? <laughs> See the moon over there? I okay. just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. Mm. But oldest trick in the book. Zing. Definitely not how that works. Uh, how long did you come here off? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. That does not answer What does that, that mean? Um... I had an inn with women's lib. Should you have hit my head by now? Um, pfft, uh, no, given the navigational instructions he gave us, you should not. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. Um, this, there's something very frustrating about this conversation. It's not giving us questions that seem to reasonably advance our interests, but it keeps generating yeah. more questions. Um, send for, send help? for help? I, oh, I can't imagine sure. this being helpful. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Yeah, unsurprisingly unhelpful. Uh, yeah. Taking me with Could you? We tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This That's, little light of mine. I don't believe mine, that he's I'm singing in key. This little light of mine. I think I'm we're going to approach shine, from the other side of the screen. If I'm not mistaken, shine, that is what's about to happen. Under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna what let is that? Shine, hide it under some seaweed. Uh, no, try to sing in key tech. Hide it under some no. seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, we're gonna do it like a full shine, ass loop is what we're about to do. Yeah. This has been a very productive yeah. episode. I hope you at home are enjoying this What a experience. great time. Yeah. Oh, is it better when it's around that's like not in key or together? Is that better? No. It's not better. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh baby. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No. I'm Wait, is that thing his penis? It's definitely his penis. But also someone needs to give him a talking to and let him know that. His, his what he's saying is probably not accurate. What the fact that we're looping around a moon that is at the bottom of the ocean? How did we get here? What is happening? What well, even is you this know, game? If, honestly, Tech, if you had just gone through the full recap at the start of the previous episode, you would know how we got here. All right, we've gone. We got time. Is he gonna let it shine? I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, wow, well, the game has become self-aware. Tech, everybody. run! Ah! Uh, where'd you get the gold? See, I have a problem with the fact that he keeps asking these questions about his appearance and all we see is his backpack. Yeah, Where'd I know. Get the coral. Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Wow, that's an unhelpful answer that somehow cleared part of the dialogue tree. Um, what's the what's what's the deal with boats? What's the problem with boats. 
we had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? Because we're at the bottom of the ocean. You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Because we're at the bottom of the ocean. Uh... Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. This sounds really unpleasant, and I think we'll have to explore it more in the next episode. But we have to exhaust all these dialogue options. Next time. This is actually a really bad place to save. Like, I can't leave this dialogue tree without advancing the game. Um, all right. Well, wait. I don't want to break your stride there. Okay. The problem is, I think we'll have to wait for him to come back around. For sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, oh God. Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for him. <laughs> now we're only just now learning his this name. Little light of mine, oh, you got a you got a black this square there. Mine, yeah, so. Oh, is he gonna this stop there? Mine, I mean, he's I'm not gonna, gonna stop singing shine, ever. Obviously, shine, never stop singing. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, some wow, I feel bad oh for God. the voice actor, but I feel shine, worse for everyone shine, other than the voice actor. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine, um, yeah, next time, something. We'll have to wait for him to come back around. I'm sure it comes back around. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. That is her. Awesome. Woof. Gladys, go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus. Heck no. I'm scared. I'm staying up here with you. Who is the one who made the chicken noise? Did he make it about himself? He's like, he made his, he's like, I'm scared, and then someone made a chicken noise to make fun of someone, but it's unclear who. S someone beyond the fourth wall just made a chicken noise. Yeah, okay, so let's... right. <laughs>